Welcome back to the chaos everyone. I'm Chaos Eclipse. Today we're back on Core Keeper. Um, so if we look here, this is just going to be a quick update on everything that's going on because probably not going to have a video on this game for a while unless something like really interesting happens or I find another boss or something like that. Um, so this is just going to be a quick update. As you can see, I planted the papaya right here. It did need its own little ground source. Um, I think it was called like desert sand or something. Uh, it's right up here. It is this one I believe desert no 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 it's this one so it's the beach block um, it says a sandy piece of the coastal stone so I did have to have that in order to plant the actual papaya um, and obviously it's growing and then there was confusion the last time about um, where I should go next at least for me uh, I still haven't talked to the core again yet which I will do that here we also found some bloat seeds over on the right side of the map, which is where the grassy area was. So let's go talk to the core. I want to see what the core says before I mention to you guys what I figured out on my own. So let's see what the core says. Because last time we spoke with the core, um, we talked to the, or we went to the wall. Um, we looked inside of the beach area over here. And we looked inside of the grassy area over here. As you can see, I've been more deeper into the grass area. Um, that is because, actually I'll tell you now, uh, that's because, um, uh, even though the blocks over here were harder to break, cause I was thinking that we were supposed to go this way, uh, because the blocks are so much easier to break over here. This is the beach area and there's a piece of core right here, which ended up being, um, iron. And then we were also getting the octarine out of the wall, but the blocks are easier to break over here. So I thought we were supposed to be going this way originally. Then... After seeing the ocarina and everything off screen, I came over here and I was like, well, let me see if I can find a piece of ore over here. And I did find one. Well, I found a couple. So these ones here are gold and copper. So I didn't really pay attention to those. I didn't put any drills down. And then the one here, this one is actually scarlet. This is what we've been looking for. This is the next um, ore that we're supposed to be finding anyway. So I'm assuming we're supposed to go this way and not over at the beach, even though over here, the blocks are harder to break. So... That's what we're going to go with, but I want to see what the core says because we haven't talked to the core since we lowered that wall. So let's talk with the core, see what it says. The flourishing wilderness in which Azios resides thrives northeast from here. Yeah, so technically, um, the east is where we are right now, which is where I found the scarlet uh, ore. Is that it? Azios has a liking for shiny, glimmering objects. Okay, what does that mean? Uh, okay, and then you're saying the same thing again. Okay. Um, also, if we take a look at our vendor here, this one here, he actually has more stuff to buy now. Um, you can see he's now selling... Uh, so what was different in here? The iron ore, the tin ore, the copper ore. I think he was already selling gold. If not, he's selling gold. Um, we already seen the larva meat, but when I showed you guys the shiny larva meat, he's actually selling that too now. So, he didn't have all these items before. So I figured I'd check all the other vendors. This one's still the same, it's just seasonal stuff that everything's locked at the moment. Other than the birthday stuff, which is this one. Like, you can buy these with fiber, any of them. I did the cake already, you guys seen that. Uh, and then, like I said, I wanted to check all the vendors, so I came down to this one here, and this one has some stuff that I didn't see before either. So I think they had this and maybe two other things, but they also have a giant slime summoning idol, they have the gorm summoning idol, the hive mother summoning idol, which that's the last boss that we did. They have mechanical parts, ancient gemstones. This I'm really interested in. I could technically buy this right now, but... I don't have any of the handles or, or like any of the materials in order to make it. Um, it looks like it's a sword or something. Because uh, if you read it, it says an unusually well preserved piece of ancient paper. The runes are impossible to decipher, but small symbols hint at it being a recipe for a strange weapon. You have the broken handle, the chip blade, the clear gemstone, 50 iron bars, and 10 ancient gemstones. So I have the ancient bars, I have the gemstones, or sorry, the iron bars and ancient gemstones, but I don't know where or how to get the broken handle, the chip blade, or the clear gemstone. But I do have over 2,000 of the things, so I could technically buy that. And then we also have this one, 
which is 3,000, I could buy this too, but same thing with the materials. Don't know where the materials would come from. The materials are shut down protocol, anomaly report, overwrite transcript. Um, and this one says a rhombus shaped crystal made from glass that has complex circuits embedded. It seems powered down. Maybe it could be a fed or maybe it could be fed data to activate it again. So I don't know what this is either. And then he also says one extra slot. So I'm assuming that he'll do that stuff. Um, so uh, I don't know if you guys noticed it. The, um, the items that I have right now, they have changed. So if you look at my items here, you can see I do have a Scarlet Pickaxe. I have a Scarlet Shovel and I have a Scarlet Hoe. Um, and I did upgrade all three of them already. So when I was over getting the Scarlet over here, um, before finding this node, when I was just kind of digging around through here, I actually came up this way and then I found it here. So then I made a tunnel coming out just to make it easier to um, get in and out of here. But digging up all of this um, is where I was finding like just regular pieces of the, uh, of the Scarlet. Um, so that's how I ended up making like the the uh, workbench, the, um, what is it called? The anvil, things like that. And then also we had in this area, we had a um, uh, an ore here. We had one, I think somewhere down in this area. And then we also had one, let me see where, oh no, no. Actually it wasn't over here, sorry. So it was this area here um, this area, okay, that's screwing me up, I could have swore I took one of these away, not that one, there was a copper one here, we took that one away, I thought we took this one away, and then there was one up over here that we took away, and maybe one over here, I don't know, there was three of them somewhere on the map that, um, the ores were done, and the drills were just kind of going there by themselves, so we come up here, we take a look, um, I moved the kiln, I put it over here. We now have three kilns here, so we're going to do gold, um, scarlet, and then octarine, kind of how we have the furnaces over here, just to um, keep stuff going. Uh, as you can see here, whoops, here, we have our anvil. I do want to make this armor. Um, it looks expensive, but it also looks really good. Uh, so it all gives max health, armor, and crit chance, and then also the three set piece gives killing an enemy increases critical chance by 3% and stacks up to five times. So I think that actually be really good, and it looks kind of like a little samurai thing there for the head. Um, the sword is actually kind of weak to com compared to the axe that we have, so if you look at the sword, currently it does uh, 147 and 179, and if you look at the axe, we have 198, 242. So I'm keeping the axe, even though the axe is not um like an upgrade because technically it's still stronger so we're keeping the axe uh the little dagger here i still haven't even tried these yet i don't know if they're throwable i don't know how they work um but it also looks pretty weak uh and then we do have the crossbow which i'm not really worried about this either because it does 142 to 172 but our current um staff our fireball staff does 215 to 261 so and then I also found another tome that we could use to summon other stuff in. I have not tried it out yet. Um, it says it summons in a, this thing. It says it summons in, summons an orbiting jellyfish minion dealing damage on impact. And I found that when I was over at the beach getting some of the octarine. Cause like I said, I did try a little bit over there as well. Just see like where I'm supposed to be going and stuff. So um, we can actually try that now for you guys. So. Let's just summon them right here. Oh, okay. So it's like a, it's like a turtle show in, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, Mario Kart. Can I do, can I summon in both? No, I get rid of the other one. Okay. All right. Well, let's put that back. I don't think I would like that one. It's not bad though. I did upgrade it as well as you guys can see. Um, and then here's our Scarlet Workbench. You can see that it does have quite a bit of stuff in here. Some of this stuff I like a lot. So we already made the little backpack. So now we have 15 slots. You can see down here we do have extra three slots compared to the last one that gave us 12. So that was our 12 and then 13, 14, 15. And you can see there it says 15 inventory slots. It also gives us max health, max armor. Um, I also made the scarlet fishing rod, which I have over in the chest where I have the fish. And then obviously, like I just showed you, I made these three things. We made this, which is the anvil. 
Uh, we made the upgrade station, which I will show you in a second. Um, we could make both of these. This one I'm really interested in. It says it's a strange gauntlet. It can create roof light on a tile um, you're facing or remove it. So I'm thinking it digs like upward because then it mentions it says it's not able to let you escape though. So I'm thinking it digs like, like above us. So like if I wanted light right here, I could just dig above us to bring light down in. And then maybe we can get rid of a whole bunch of these torches. That way we're not, um, like we're going to end up having a whole bunch of torches, I guess. Because we're not going to need it if we use this. Because it does say roofing gab gadget, so I'm assuming it's above us. We also have a distillery table. Don't know what that's for yet. Um, it, I mean, it says advanced potions, but like I haven't made it yet. I think I can make it because we have the poison slime and everything. This bench... Uh, oh no, the bench is connected. I just don't have that many poison slimes yet. Here's the poison slimes. We have seven of them. Um, I do have some down in the other chest too, so maybe they're maybe I just bring the ones down there. And then we have our next workbench, which is the ocarina workbench, and that's what we'll, we found over at the beach. So here is the upgrade station. I always heard people talking about, oh, you should upgrade your weapons and everything. Like when I'm watching other people's gameplay. And I'm like, oh, you can only upgrade it once because in my mind, I was thinking of this one where you have your little uh, repair thing here and it says you can reinforce it. This is what I was thinking of when they were talking to people about um, uh, like upgrading stuff. I was like, you can only do it once and it gives you very little. But this here lets you actually upgrade upgrade. So if we take our axe that's already reinforced and we put it up in here. Um, you can see right there, it does the 198 to 242. If we look at the upgraded version, it'll give us an extra 26 points. It also gives us an extra 2.5% on physical melee damage. Um, now, I don't know how many times you can upgrade it, though, because as you can see, it says item level 8 um, plus 1. So it would go to item level number 9. So after it's number 9, can I put it back in here to go to number 8? or to go to 10 so i'm really interested in that but it does say you need ancient coins in order to do this and then you also need iron bars so it's a good thing we've been saving those the um the iron the ancient coins um so we could technically upgrade anything that we have so what i might end up doing is taking these things here these tin sledgehammers because they are amazing um for what they do this one uh, they're amazing for what they do, um, and this would give it, look at that, 20 extra mining damage. Because the issue that we're running into is even though they are very strong and they break out like six blocks at a time, even over in the grass biome, it takes like a good five hits for you to actually knock anything out. So let's go over there real quick and I'll show you what I mean. run a little bit further and I still haven't cleared this out yet I'm going to that is my project right after I finish this video oh check this out too the uh, the garden hoe look how big this thing is it gave us like a whole extra row on the outside so now it's gonna be a lot easier for farming and everything so I think that's awesome um, but if we come over here there are some new mob well I mean there's tons of new mobs um, but the ones that I've been running into are actually pretty crazy. Is this the one that, no, next one. Um, so there's like little snipers that like have like little ghillie suits on their backs and stuff. They're, I think they're pretty cool. Like they just look cool. Um, we got these little ducks. I still haven't tried capturing them yet. So I took some of the regular drills. I put them here. I will end up making scarlet drills and I'll probably replace these because it'll probably break it faster. So that little guy down there is just a regular little farmer dude. Um, I don't think, because I killed all the mobs in this area, so I don't think you're going to see a, uh, a little sniper guy. Um, they do have tons of butterflies here, which I've been capturing. But this is what I'm talking about. So if we take a look at the, uh, the little hammer here that we have, you'll see how many it breaks, which it breaks, uh, uh, what was it, six in front of you. But look at that. That's one hit, two, three, four, five. So it's still not bad because of how much it gets rid of, but at the same time, like when we were using it on stuff like this, two hits, two hits. But now we have to take our time doing five hits per thing here, so it slows us down a bit. Now I'm hoping they have 
Because this is a tin sledgehammer. We never got an iron one. We never got a scarlet one. Um, we never... Actually, I guess we did have a copper one. Or maybe it was wooden. I don't know. I destroyed it. Um, but we never got an iron one. So I wonder if there's an iron one. I wonder if there's a scarlet one. I'm assuming there's one of everything. I just need to find them. But that's... Like I said, that's me assuming. So I don't know if that's actually true or not. So that is the update on everything. Oh, and then we have these guys. Um, uh, what are they called? Fireflies, but they're red. So if we capture these here, you see it says uh, red glow bug. So there's not only yellow and blue. I guess there's going to be a whole bunch of different colors. I didn't realize that either. Um, some of the mobs have been coming over here. I seen a sniper dude over here earlier. Um, and then I came up here, and like I said, I was looking like along the edge here. Uh, we've been up in this area. I was looking for more um, scarlet ores that are hopefully on the edge. So I'll be working on that as well. But I think that's going to be it for this one, guys. Like I said, just wanted to give you guys a quick update on everything that's going on. I found out, like I said, that you're supposed to be going to the right side over here, to the um, the wood biome versus going to the beach, even though the beach seems a lot weaker. But maybe it's because over on the beach, maybe that's sand, because the sand is a lot... Um, uh, like the walls for, for sand are weaker anyway. They were weaker than the dirt. Because we could break them with one hit with our bare hand. And the dirt I think would take two with your bare hand. I could be wrong about that. But it, they just seem weaker from from what I've seen. Um, but that's going to be it for this one. If you guys have any questions. Oh, actually, you know what? Two more things. Real quick. So we found this little guy. Uh, Corrupt Warden shorts. I originally thought it was going to be this. Which we found a helmet to. This is the Wild Warden mask. The Wild Warden set. We only had the, um, the chest piece before. Um, but now we have the helmet. We found this, which is the high bone pants. Or no, you guys seen that. That was when we got it from the high mother. We found these. Uh, so we found a mercenary tank top and we found a mercenary headband. I'm assuming there's either going to be pants or shorts with it. But it also does not give a set bonus. So keep that in mind. Um, but it does help with movement speed a lot. Like this one's 6.1, this one's 15.9. That's crazy. But there's also no, um, no armor. So... Be careful with that, guys. Be very careful with that. And then, like I said, we have this, which is the Corrupt Warden shorts. So it's not the same as the Wild Warden set. As you can see, uh, you need a Wild Warden mask, Wild Warden pauldrons, and Wild Warden pants, along with the necklace and the ring. Where this one only has a three-piece set, it's the Corrupt Warden mask, Corrupt Warden tunic, and Corrupt Warden shorts. Um, and then we found this mask piece here, which I don't know how I haven't found this before. It's a skirmisher cap. Um, I found it, I believe, over there where we just were. So we do have a couple new sets of everything. And this is our first level six. Yeah, that's our first level six item because this one here is five. And then the one down here was like ten, seven. I was close. So I think that's everything. I'm pretty sure that's everything now. Um... So my next uh, thing, like I said, I'm going to get all the slime out of here because I'm tired of the slime spawning in. I did do a little bit of it down here. You can see there's quite a bit cleared out here. Um, but we're going to go around the full circle. Uh, looks like I did some there too. I forgot about that. Um, but we're going to go around the full circle. We're going to get rid of all the slime. That way the slime will actually stop spawning in. We have spawners at our base, so I'm not really worried about it. Um, we'll just have to be careful because I know like somewhere like down in these areas over here, it has like branch offs that I didn't really explore too much. Um, so we'll have to be careful with that. It's going to take us into like a whole bunch of caves and everything. But my objective is to just stay on the path, run around, clear out all the slime. And it's going to be a lot easier with the scarlet thing now because now I can just do the um, this thing. And look at this, guys. Look at that. It does my whole crop. Like that is crazy. Look at that. I mean, that's kind of what I was doing before, but I wasn't able to do as much because um, it didn't reach as far. Oh, I missed a row. I dropped down a row somehow. And then we can go here. And then here. Look at that. Works out perfect. Alright, so I'm going to have to actually um, probably mess with these uh, 
um, gardening things and all that just to uh, make a bigger garden because now we have papaya and I'm sure we're going to be finding other stuff so we'll mess with all that a different time um, but yeah like I said questions comments concerns put it down in the comment section let me know what you guys think of the game are you guys so um, excited about it like I know it's been out for a little bit now so you know it's kind of dying off a bit but I'm still very excited because I have not played a game like this in a very very long time and I'm loving it so far I'm, I I've been addicted to it, but it's also very time consuming for me because I like to take my time and and look at everything. So I still need to uncover, like I said, the entire inside here, which I want to do, but I don't know if that's actually going to be feasible or not. We'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, thank you all for watching. You guys have a, a wonderful day. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.